Hello, welcome to the seventh lecture of my Mathematics of Lattice Space Cryptography course. In this lecture, I'll present Module SIS and Module LWE, the variants of SIS and LWE that form the foundation for the security of Kyber and Dilithium. I'll also explain why Module SIS and Module LWE can be considered to be problems in certain structured lattices. The module SIS problem is a generalization of ring SIS by replacing the polynomials A1 up to AL in ring SIS with vectors of K polynomials. Similarly, module LWE generalizes ring LWE by replacing polynomials with vectors of polynomials. One advantage of the module variants of the problem is that they are less structured than their ring counterparts. Recall that R is the ring of integer polynomials modulo x to the n plus 1. Rq is the ring of polynomials modulo x to the n plus 1, where now the polynomials have coefficients from the integers modulo q. A module RQK is comprised of the length k vectors of polynomials in RQ. Such vectors can be added and subtracted component-wise. The inner product of two such vectors produces a polynomial in RQ. I'll define the size of polynomial vector A to be the maximum of the sizes of the polynomials AI. Recall that the size of a polynomial is the maximum of the sizes of its coefficients. Recall also that the size of an integer modulo q is the absolute value of its symmetric mod q representation. The module SIS problem is the following. Given L randomly selected polynomial vectors a1, a2 up to al, find small polynomials z1 up to zl such that a1, z1, plus a2, z2, plus a, l, z, l equals zero. Here, small means that all the coefficients of the z, i polynomials are between minus b and b. Also, to rule out the trivial solution, the z, i should not all be zero. Note that each a, i is now a vector of polynomials. So module SIS asks for a small non-zero solution to the following polynomial matrix equation. Observe that if we have one module SIS solution, then we can get some other solutions by multiplying the components of a solution by x or minus x. In this way, one solution produces up to 2n minus 1 other solutions. The matrix form of ring SIS is the following. Let A be the Kn by Lm matrix, obtained by concatenating the anti-circulant matrices corresponding to the polynomials in the polynomial vectors A1, A2, up to AL. Then, the module SIS problem is to find a small vector z in the null space of A modulo Q. Also, z should be non-zero. So module SIS is a special case of SIS where the matrix A is structured, namely comprised of blocks of anti-circulant matrices. Here's an example of module SIS. Let's take Q to be the prime 67, N to be 4. So the ring of polynomials RQ is a set of polynomials over Z67 modulo X of the 4 plus 1. We'll take k to be 2 and l to be 3, and b to be 10. The three randomly selected module elements are a1, a2, and a3, each being a vector of two polynomials in RQ. So the module SIS problem asks us to find small polynomials z1, z2, and z3, not all zero, such that a11 times z1 plus a21 times z2 plus a31 times z3 equals 0 modulo 67, and a12 times z1 plus a22 times z2 plus a32 times z3 equals 0 mod 67. 
Here, small means that the coefficients are between minus 10 and 10. The matrix A is this 8 by 12 matrix. The 4 by 4 blocks of A are the anticirculant matrices corresponding to the polynomials in A1, A2, and A3. We need to find small nonzero vectors in the null space of A modulo Q. I use Gaussian elimination on A modulo 67 to get this reduced form matrix A primed. As expected, the matrix A primed has rank 8, so the null space has dimension 4. The independent variables are R9, R10, R11, and R12. And the dependent variables are R1, R2, up to R8. The total number of solutions is Q to the fourth, which is about 20 million. Of these, there are eight non-zero solutions R, all of whose components are between minus 10 and 10. So up to multiplication by plus or minus 1, plus or minus x, plus or minus x squared, and plus or minus x cubed, this is the SIS solution. The polynomial form solution is Z1, Z2, Z3. You can check that A times R is 0 modulo Q, and also that Z1, Z2, and Z3 satisfy the two polynomial equations. Langlois and Stell introduced module SIS in 2015 and proved that solving module SIS on average is at least as hard as solving a prox SIVP for module lattices in the worst case. As with the worst case to average case reduction for SIS, this guarantee is an asymptotic one. Notice that ring SIS is a special case of module SIS with k equals 1, so using polynomials instead of vectors of polynomials. Notice also that SIS is a special case of module SIS with n equals 1. When n equals 1, the ring RQ is equal to the integers modulo Q, and each anticirculant matrix in A is an integer modulo Q. So module SIS interpolates between SIS and ring SIS. A primary advantage of module SIS over ring SIS is that the parameters Q and N can be fixed, and then the parameter K can be varied to achieve different security levels. For example, dilithium fixes Q to be roughly 8 million and N to be 256. The KL values are 4, 4, 6, 5, and 8, 7, where the underlying matrix of polynomials is in standard form, and where A is a K by L matrix of polynomials. Since K is relatively small compared to N, module SIS instances in dilithium are closer to ring SIS than to SIS. Finally, I'll mention that since 2N divides Q minus 1, the number theoretic transform can be used for fast polynomial multiplication. Recall that SB denotes the polynomials whose coefficients in mod S representation are between minus B and B. I'm calling these the small polynomials. SBK denotes vectors of K small polynomials. Module LWE is the following variant of LWE. Let S be a randomly selected vector of polynomials, and let E be a randomly selected vector of small polynomials. Let A1 up to AK be randomly selected vectors of polynomials, and define BI to be AI transpose times S plus EI. Note that each BI is a polynomial. Given the AI and the BI, the problem is to determine the polynomial vector S. So module LWE asks for a solution SE to the following polynomial matrix equation where the EIs are small polynomials. 
The matrix form of module LWE is the following. Solve the equation AS plus E equals B modulo Q, where A is the matrix obtained from the anti-circulant matrices corresponding to the polynomials in the polynomial vectors AI, and the vector B is obtained from the coefficients of the BI polynomials. Note that A is a KN by LN matrix. Observe that module LWE is a special case of LWE where the matrix A is structured, namely comprised of blocks of anti-circulant matrices. You can find an example of module LWE in slides 113 to 115. The module LWE variant of LWE was introduced in 2011 by Brikersky, Gentry, and Vaikuntanathan. You can check that setting L equals 1 gives an instance of ring LWE. Also, setting N equals 1 gives an instance of LWE. So module LWE interpolates between LWE and ring LWE. In 2015, Langlois and Stell proved that solving module LWE on average is at least as hard as quantumly solving a prox SIVP for module lattices in the worst case. As with Regev's worst case to average case reduction for LWE, this guarantee is an asymptotic one, and in addition is a quantum reduction. For a concrete analysis, of worst case to average case reductions for module LWE and ring LWE. See the paper, Concrete Analysis of Approximate Ideal SIVP to Decision Ring LWE Reduction by Koblitz, Samajder, Sarkar, and Singa. As with module SIS, our primary advantage of module LWE over ring LWE is that the parameters Q and N can be fixed, and then the parameter L can be varied to achieve different security levels. For example, dilithium fixes Q to be roughly 8 million and N to be 256, and the KL values are 4, 4, 6, 5, and 8, 7. So one can optimize arithmetic in the polynomial ring RQ. Since L is relatively small compared to N, the module LWE instances in dilithium are closer to ring LWE than to LWE. To conclude this lecture, let me outline the linder pikert public key encryption scheme using module LWE as the underlying problem. This is essentially the same as the public key encryption scheme Kyber. Kyber uses the parameters Q equals 3329 and N equals 256. K is either 2, 3, or 4 for different security levels. Instead of a single parameter B, Kyber uses two parameters 801 and 802. In key generation, an entity Alice selects random small polynomial vectors S and E. The polynomials in S have size at most A to 1, and the polynomials in E have size at most A to 2. Also, Alice selects a random K by K matrix of polynomials. She computes B equals A times S plus E. Her public key is AB, whereas her private key is S. Note that computing the private key S from the public key AB is an instance of the short secret version of module LWE. Also, determining any information about S from AB is an instance of the short secret version of decisional module LWE. Suppose now that Bob wishes to encrypt a length n binary string M for Alice. The plain text M can be viewed as a polynomial of degree less than n with 0, 1 coefficients. Bob first obtains an authentic copy of Alice's public key, AB. He selects random small polynomial vectors, R and Z, 
and a random small polynomial z primed. He then computes c1 equals a transpose times r plus z, and c2 equals b transpose times r plus z primed plus q over 2 times m. Note that each coefficient of the plaintext polynomial m has been scaled by multiplying it by q over 2. The ciphertext is comprised of c1 and c2. c1 is a polynomial vector and c2 is a single polynomial. To decrypt c, Alice uses her private key s to compute the polynomial c2 minus s transpose times c1 and then rounds its coefficients to retrieve m. As an exercise, you can prove that the encryption scheme is indistinguishable against chosen plaintext attacks, assuming that the short secret decisional module LWE problem is hard. Finally, a note on security. No attacks are known on module SIS or module LWE that are any faster than the fastest attacks known on the general versions of the problems, namely SIS and LWE. In other words, no attacks are known on module SIS or module LWE that exploit the structure in the matrix A. Recall that the matrix A is comprised of blocks of anti-circulant matrices. Thus, the fastest attacks known on SIS and LWE are used to select module SIS and module LWE parameters in order to attain a desired security level. Mm -hmm.